Don't transfer your seedlings yet. Watch this video first. We're ready. <laughs> we are going to be transferring seedlings today. So many people take this step for hydroponics for granted. They just say, transfer your seedlings. Well, <laughs> sometimes transferring your seedlings can be challenging. For the last 10 days, I have had these seedlings. They started out as tiny seeds. They germinated. They grew a hypocotyl, which is that little single stem. They grew cotyledons, which are the leaves, the first leaves of a seed and then they started growing true leaves. And that's when I knew they were ready for going into my deep water culture tank with aeration. Notice how I moved my seedlings with a dome cover. I've done that because sometimes I'll accidentally lean over and some of my seedlings fall out. If the hypocotyl is broken, your plant will die and you'll have to start over. Oh no! Before you begin, make sure that your tank is ready for your seedlings. This is a DIY tank with eight three inch holes ready to grow medium to medium large heads of lettuce or other plants. Wow! If I wasn't demonstrating on this table, I would already have this tank exactly where I want it to go. Before I transfer the seedlings, I know that I have enough nutrient, and I usually add 50% pH balance water and 50% nutrient at the very bottom, no more than a quarter inch into the net cup. So I'll look at it before I ever put my seedlings in. May seem silly, <laughs> but one of the tools I use are craft tweezers. I've tried to grab the seedlings in their rock wool cubes and my fingers just cannot grip beside them in the seeding tray. Oops! And this is what I did. I took and I carefully used the tweezers to grip the rock wool cube. Not touching the seedling. I took this and this is a green butter. I put it into the net cup very carefully and you notice how I'm keeping my finger on this on the seeding media because I don't want anything to happen to the hypocotyl. Then you take some type of supporting pebbles. I use pumice stone or lava rock that's been cleaned and I may use lightweight expanded clay aggregate or called leka to keep it supported. And again I'm being very careful to make sure that I am not going anywhere near the plant because it's very delicate at this point. Now why am I putting this in? If I don't put the seeding media in, then the nutrient will start to grow algae. This is ready to go into the tank wherever you have decided your tank will go. You want to see it one more time? Here we go. You take, carefully pull one out with the tweezers, place it inside, keep a firm grip, put the, the supporting media beside it, and put it in your deep water culture tank with aeration. It seems simple. And it is. Just a few steps to make sure your seedlings keep growing into plants and food that you can eat.